what it is everybody thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the speed bug channel we are in the smaller trailer now which used to be called the bigger trailer now that this is coming after but we're in the smaller trailer the 28er and we got uh, snow white here behind me as you guys can see now this is a video that i've been uh deciding to uh, you know whether or not to put out but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and put it out because it wouldn't be right and I don't like it when only people show only good things with success and you know what this car has been a long road I have gotten this car to do some crazy things on 20 inch rims and you guys have all seen it run y'all know it runs you know it, it does its thing but I don't like it when only people show success but never the failures because the failures is actually what gives you the success so um, but I'm gonna tell you right now she's hurt and she's hurt bad and uh let me go ahead and flip this camera she's hurt pretty bad and uh the, let's just say the motor's locked up right and y'all saw some videos on my instagram and I'll, I'll post a dyno video from the last time you know she's hurt i got some stuff out like i have no spark plugs no wires you know and the airbox stuff off on it now but she's hurt and she's hurt pretty good uh we went to let me give you the back story on it we went to bradenton and uh, we made a run, and, that, and, and it made one run, and, and quit, you know, halfway, about 660, maybe 1,000 feet down the track. And what happened, uh, it just lost oil pressure. I haven't taken the motor out yet. Obviously, you still see it's in the car. And it just said zero oil pressure. Now, there was no knocking or anything like that. It just had no oil pressure. So I immediately let out, and the car was still driving fine. So what leads me to believe after diagnosing everything and looking over the tune and everything like that, I think what happened also was that the oil pump in this thing just finally decided to take crap. Now, is it the stock oil pump? Yes, it is. Why is it the stock oil pump? Well, because you all are going to say, well, you dumbass, you should have put a, a, a big oil pump in there. Well, there was a point in time where this blower wasn't on the car and it was only making 700 wheel. Then it went to eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, you know, keep going on and on and on and up, right? You know, change blowers, change a bunch of other parts, fuel system, whatever, the, the whole nine yards. You know, it's got crank, it's got pistons, it's got rods in it, you know, all that stuff. But when I did that and I put the, the, the crank, pistons, rods, you know, the forged the bottom end and all that, um, it only had, let's just say, roughly, maybe roughly about... We're going to go on a loose, so to just say 900 wheel, right? So it was good. And uh, I believe the pistons and rods in there are good for like 1,200 or something like that. I was never able to find the exact number. Um, but, you know, 1,200 horsepower or something. That could be crank. That could be wheel. I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't really matter. Either way, the way the car was right there, the way that you see it right there, it makes more than 1,200 wheel. So, uh, the... I could have a bent rod, it could have you know a bunch of other stuff, but I don't really know. But again, at seven, eight, nine hundred, maybe even a thousand wheel, the oil pump and all the other stuff will probably survive for a long time. But when you really start hammering on stuff and really start pushing on stuff, and you know, you're north of 13, 14, 15, 1600 horsepower, stuff's gonna break. I don't care what kind of car it is. And I looked around and I, you know, I talked to some engine builders, I talked to LME, I talked to Texas Speed, Fast Forward, Alan Johnson, all of that. Now this block still has water in it and I know if I move to a billet block then it, it's over. The car will always only be pushed around, shut off at the end of the track. And even though I, I classify it still as like a street car, but I mean it never gets driven on the street. Just, you know, it just has street characteristics, but it's not a car that I ever race or do anything on the street. But bottom line is that the engine is locked up and we got a new one already ordered this happened about two weeks ago the very next day i ordered an engine because of covid and all this other crap that's still allegedly going on in the world that uh it damn near took them forever to get me a, a motor so it is what it is and uh it pains me to say it but we are going with an iron block uh everyone that has said that if i'm going to make this amount of power and hell even texas speed and a, and a couple other people so um if i'm going to continue to make this kind of power i gotta go away from the aluminum block now they did just come out with the uh the ltr uh the or the yeah the L, ltr 
the new aluminum block that's like the LSR um, but it's been a pain in the ass to get a hold of so we went with LME we're gonna throw in a 427 in this Joker I'm gonna put it up here on the screen and custom cam for this blower and everything else to, to, to push it you know as, as far as that I, as I can and that's what I'm gonna continue to do everything else behind the car it's upgraded with the best of the best parts, and I can't buy any other better parts to throw behind it. This is still the stock block, uh, but that's it, just the stock block. Everything else has been upgraded. So it's, it's just, you know, I've got, what, a couple hundred passes on this motor, so it really doesn't owe me much. I mean, you guys have seen the videos, you know, how far I push this car to go 9.0s even, 9.0 flat on our triple eights that are right there on the 20 inch rims a 93 octane that's crazy okay so i got the good trans i got the converter torque tube diff all that stuff the best of the best of money the parts can buy and when they break they just break you know you beat on an anvil long enough it's gonna break and it's it's gonna die but it's hurt now we got a new motor coming uh it is from lme uh you guys will see it and i'll be able to film that when it does go in and uh it is a 427 it is going to be an iron block. We're going to put some gangster cylinder heads on it and everything else to go along with it. Gangsta, you know, more gangster fuel system, whatever it needs, you know, to, to keep climbing. Because I told them, like, look, I need you to beat this, you know, build me something that's going to make, you know, well over 2,000 horsepower. Not that this blower will make over 2,000 horsepower, but I need it to so that when I'm beating the shit out of it, that it's, you know, it can, it can go some laps. It can go around. You know, I'd rather build something for 2,500 horsepower and you know make 1500 that way you know we're not running her at max capacity kind of like an injector duty cycle you don't really want to go over 80 percent but uh so she'll be down for a few weeks and uh sooner than later we'll have the engine pulled out i'll take it out put it on a stand bring it home i actually take it all apart i'm gonna actually save this engine and keep it as a backup we'll see how the pistons and the rods and all that stuff that is going to be in it once i pull it apart you know what kind of metals in there so on and so forth but when i did check all that stuff there was no metal shavings or anything and it only knocked right at the end right before i shut off i just think that was a bearing or a rod cap because obviously it had no oil pressure but we'll save that because i still have the z06 you know corella and cinderella and the zl1 and maybe it doesn't need pistons and rods but i'm probably going to put another set of pistons and rods in it just to be safe and it does have some pretty good cylinder heads, at least for the time when I bought them three years ago. They're good. It's amazing how far technology has advanced already. There are some Texas Speed heads, uh, stock casting, but Texas Speed CNC ported and polished. So they're pretty decent. I would, you know, run those up to about a 1, thousand, eleven hundred wheel. And I'll have a spare motor for my Z06 or my Z01. And even though the Z06 has a dry sump, this will drop right in. If I have to throw it in the other one, then we can make some revisions and changes for the oiling system in the Z01 because that is a wet zone. So, but other than that, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the Corvette. She's down for the count, and uh, but we'll have her back sooner than later. We'll have her back ready to go out of this trailer. This trailer will no longer be Snow White's trailer. The big trailer will be, uh, will be Snow White's, and this will be for all of the other cars for us to go racing and hang out. And do what we just need to do you know it's a little bit smaller it's easier to maneuver get in and out where well, this will pr primarily be the race car i mean the, the race car will primarily stay in the sleeper trailer as it only pretty much goes to the racetrack so but that's going to conclude it for today's video i hope you guys uh you know enjoyed this and i am sharing that yes the motor did blow up i'm just not showing you only success and we're gonna be back and we're gonna make it bigger faster stronger and i'm gonna be broke as hell doing it but I wouldn't have it any other way. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you for another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Peace.